Okay, thank you, uh, moderator, and thank you everyone for attending this meeting. And uh, I really appreciate for the organizers for organizing this uh, important meeting. And I wish to bring my sincere apologies from the uh, His Excellency Mbelo Kailuki, the Tanzania High Commissioner, for not making today. He was supposed to be here with us, but due to unforeseen circumstances, he didn't uh, manage to come. Uh, because of, for the interest of time, uh, I will not have much to say because the East African countries, they always share uh, the same kind of resources. And um, Tanzania, we are grateful that we are also uh, a gateway for the East African, um, uh, East African region. But also we have a opportunity, like they have uh, mentioned uh, other colleagues from other East African countries. Uh, we have also abundant of natural resources. But uh, most important thing that I want to mention is um, in 2020, uh, we managed to graduate from a, a lower, um, to, to graduate from a uh, least developing country to a middle in, to the lower middle income uh, uh, countries. So our GDP has been growing up for an average of six uh, percent per per annum, and this is because of the uh, strategies and uh, commitment that our government and the people of Tanzania have been putting forward. Uh, in terms of business environment, we have tried our best to improve uh, the regulatory framework and we uh, have been engaging uh, various stakeholders, including investors and uh, local business people, to try to listen to them and to, 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 to make a good uh, conducive environment for, for business. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, in we also supposed to talk about the diaspora. We have also been, uh, we appreciate the support that we have been receiving from the diaspora community. They've been uh, helping uh, our country in terms of uh, expertise, uh, knowledge sharing, and been, uh, they've been working with us in various sectors, in agriculture, in education, in health, and they've been our gateway with uh, the, the rest of the, the, the world. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I don't have much to say. I think I will end up here for the interest of time. Thank you. Tanzania is offering the best opportunity for investors to thrive. Welcome to Tanzania, the land of opportunity. The United Republic of Tanzania, the land of the Kilimanjaro, the Serengeti and Zanzibar, is strategically located as a gateway to East Africa and the African Great Lakes region. A rising star, Tanzania is a middle-income country that has averaged 7% economic growth over the last decade. It has a population of about 60 million, the majority of whom are young and economically active and part of a rapidly growing middle class. Accessible through the Indian Ocean, Tanzania connects to six landlocked countries. It also offers access to a sizable market of about 177 million people in the East African community and 350 million people in the SADC region. Agriculture is the mainstay of Tanzania's economy. There are over 44 million hectares of arable land and only 33% of them are under cultivation. Some of the potential areas to invest in include sugarcane plantations, cotton, coffee, tea, cashew nut and grape farming, horticulture farms, sisal plantations, wheat plantations, as well as bean and cassava farms. One can also invest in the processing of these crops for export. The manufacturing sector is in its infancy stage with few exploited areas whereby unprocessed agricultural commodities have dominated major exports. Tanzania's Vision 2025 envisages an industrialized economy powered by the manufacturing sector 
and as such opens up the country to potential investment particularly in the area of textile and apparel sugar leather edible oils heavy industries pharmaceuticals tile manufacturing cable and plastic manufacturing a 1424 km long coastline including three large lakes presents a virtually untapped opportunity in fishing opportunities lie in deep sea fishing fish farming fish processing and supply of fishing gear just to name a few Tanzania's wealth extends well beyond the surface. Tanzanite, a gemstone found nowhere else in the world, is testament to the country's mineral riches. Other minerals include gold, coal, diamonds, copper, nickel, cobalt, tin, lead, silver, uranium, rare earth metals, ruby and sapphire. Investment opportunities exist in the areas of exploration, mining and processing. Welcome to the beautiful islands of Zanzibar. The home to tranquil beaches, pleasant weather, warm tropical waters and friendly people. Over time, the islands remain to be an abundant source of untapped opportunities for both visitors and investors. The archipelago is open to domestic and foreign sustainable investments to achieve the economic transformation and aspiration of Zanzibar Development Vision 2050. In the momentum of achieving the economic transformation, Zanzibar is promoting investment in key sectors such as tourism, aquaculture and deep sea fishing, real estate, processing industries, agriculture, maritime trade and transportation as well as other marine recreational activities. Tourism is the leading sector of Zanzibar economy. The tropical archipelago renowned for its coral reefs and rich marine biodiversity that makes it a perfect tourism destination. With a blend of unique cultural heritage, history and renowned tradition of hospitality. Zanzibar has a competitive advantage in the industry. The tourism sector is expected to increase significantly with the recent initiative of the government to open a few of the small islets to high-end eco-friendly investment. These small islets will cater to a niche market of high-end tourism. Real estate is the emerging and booming business in Zanzibar. Its ideal location makes it a strategic area for real estate development as the demand for residential and commercial properties is on the rise, the islands offer various opportunities for both developers and buyers of real estate. Agriculture The agricultural sector is also another avenue that welcomes investors. Zanzibar is blessed with warm temperature climates all year round, which is conducive environment for crops, vegetables and fruits to be grown and processed making Zanzibar an ideal location for agro-related industries. Zanzibar is also home to an exotic array of tropical fruits. Globally known as the Spice Island, dating back thousand years ago, Zanzibar is endowed with a myriad of valuable spices due to its rich soil such as cloves, cinnamon and black pepper. Come and invest in Tanzania.